My name is Eunice Jerry, I'm a lecturer at the Department of Computing and I'm also the PI for the Mozilla Responsible Computing here at JQuart. Uh, on this project I work with uh, Professor Kimani. So we are supported by four MSc students, uh, Caroline Katubi, Eric Otieno, Paul Demo and Peter Kabuni. Um, the project that we are doing under the Mozilla Responsible Computing is about uh, training computer science and computer technology students uh, on responsible computing and ethics. Uh, and the approach that we are taking is uh, integrating ethical considerations into the human computer interaction course. Uh, that means uh, we train students on human centered design, uh, responsible computing, and then we have them apply that uh, knowledge and awareness into designing uh, robotic applications. In the training, what we are doing, we first introduce the students to what is responsible computing. Uh, the principles of uh, uh, responsible computing. Uh, then from it, we go a bit practical after covering the theories behind ethical computing and responsible computing. We place the students into groups. Uh, from these groups, we want them to have an experience of working with a team as uh, compared to working as individuals. So from the groups, they come up with ideas on the projects that they are going to do uh, incorporating the robot. And then we will train them on responsible computing aspects that they can incorporate into their design. And then we normally have uh, lab sessions where the students can be able to explain and show how they have implemented the responsible computing aspects into their design projects. And then we have where we normally evaluate and simulate the uh, designs, where we are able to pinpoint where, how they have actually implementing, implemented the responsible design aspects. So students would normally uh, show a module, a module or two within the uh, design projects and actually showcase how they have implemented. So the different uh, groups that the students have normally will implement different different responsible computing aspects and students can normally learn from each other through the presentations that they normally show. So the main approach that we have taken is a practical approach where they learn the responsible computing aspects and they actually implement them within the year designs. I would like to note that majority of the projects that final year do are based on um, all of them have uh, an AI machine learning component so students are designing machine learning AI solutions for diverse areas, whether that is education, uh, agriculture, health, and therefore it's very important to consider ethical considerations uh, in these situations. Yeah, I'm excited to note that um, so far we have trained more than 100 uh, students uh, in computer science and computer technology, uh, and also uh, we have had very good prototypes coming from this uh, project, whether these are design solutions for children with special needs, uh, robotic assistance in elderly scenarios. We were able to learn a lot on data protection and I believe Mozilla, they are known for ensuring people's data privacy and so we were able to learn a lot about protecting the user's data and ensuring that it is not exposed to the wrong people. Ethical consideration, which means developing software that is standard, is up to standard with the ethical standards of a society. We are looking forward to build a technology that will aid the visually impaired in navigation. Therefore, in our, when it comes to the responsible computing principles, First of all, the first one we include is the inclusivity and the accessibility, whereby we use, we train our model in the, in, from a data set including the diverse backgrounds and comes to the image recognition. So therefore in that way, it does not only, it, it predicts or maybe it detects correctly the various objects. And also when it comes to, it, when it comes to ethical decision making, so whereby we now we we obtain explicit consent from the people, from, from the people from our clients. I am applying the ethical design in um, 
especially when it comes to like data privacy and protection because we are dealing with a very sensitive sector that is the healthcare as well as in the models that I'll be training. So I'll be using data from diverse locations to ensure that there'll be no bias based on like age or even just any bias that comes from the location where I get the data from. If I'm creating an application and I want people who are visually impaired to be able to use it, there are some things that I need to make sure are present. Another aspect, corresponsible computing aspect that I learned was uh, social and cultural sensitivity and this means that whenever you are creating an application consider what kind of environment your end user is in so what societal norms do they follow and this can make sure that you create a solution for them while considering their unique backgrounds. So I'd like to greatly thank uh, Mozilla for supporting our responsible computing initiatives here at JQuart uh, Mozilla has given us uh, feasibility, uh, collaboration and networking. As you know, here in Kenya there are seven other teams that are working on responsible computing at different universities and we have been able to meet um, in events like the Mozilla Festival and, and, and Network. Uh, we have also been able to join with the global community of uh, responsible computing uh, researchers in India and in the US and I think this is very good for going forward in terms of collaboration and networking. I would like to thank very much the uh, JQuart LCC team, the MSc students that I work with for their great effort towards making the, the project a success and also the students that have really uh, given their time and uh, creativity um, to create very interesting prototypes. I would also like to thank the JQuart management for being open to collaborations and partnerships that will uh, positively impact the quality of learning.